What's going on YouTube world? Charles Hedgerson here. And today, man, we're taking a look at the DV8 Chill. Um, as soon as I saw the nameplate, it just was very, very reminiscent of the DV8 Dude. Uh, it, it, it just, it did something. So again, of course, it's not the colors or anything like that, but man, I actually do like the way this ball looks. And I like seeing the ball kind of flip and twirl down the lane. So uh, very, very excited to get this on the lane. And if this is anything close to a DV8 Dude, uh, it's a special place. That's one of my first DVA balls that really opened my eyes to the type of performance and just what you can get out of the DVA, you know, brand. Uh, so that's why it really does have a special place to me. Um, but if you saw the last video and you saw the man count, that man and that man and that that counted as well. So we're gonna keep that going uh, to see. It's something I. It's a mental. It will be a mental check for me uh, to be a little more conscientious of what I'm saying <laughs> uh, and what are my my fillers. You know, everybody has their fillers uh, when they speak because they don't want to hear that same dead space. But I will be mindful. We see how bad I do this video, but. We got this one and the DVA Troublemaker. Figure is the most recent ball uh, to come out from the brand, which is it's also a symmetric. The, the DVA uh, Verge Solid, um, I, I feel like it hasn't had the same love that the Troublemaker has. And mind you, the Troublemaker had a lot of technology, a lot of new, so that makes a lot of sense. But that's it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hurry and get to the lanes, but if you like the jersey, this is one of the classics that really, really did well at the top of the year. Use the links below, and if you're in South Florida, get over to Sawgrass Lanes, and Tony LeVance, Roger in there doing what they do. If you need a pro shop, get over here. These guys do amazing work. And yeah, if you wanna pick up the ball, after you see what, what happens, I expect nothing but amazing things. Uh, but use the links below, man. Great way to support, or if you don't wanna spend any money, just share the video if you find this stuff helpful share it so other people other boulder friends can see this so that is it man i'm gonna go ahead and get to the lanes and the chill i believe is three thousand i'll kind of flash the that information across the screen so you guys can see it no i'm not filling up the screen anymore so you don't have it just sitting there but i will put it in there uh, uh, so you can't see it for a moment and yes, I'm, I am still wearing the hype shoes. I'm just getting getting uh, really comfortable with them, man. So I believe it's a fresh house shot. So this might go pretty straight. I'm gonna stand on 20 and I'm gonna play a little, little more square. That wasn't too bad there. Again, fresh house shot. This ball is not the strongest of balls. So if you, you like to play a little more square and you know, you have a little rev rate, this might be a really good option. Let's see what happens. Again, first shot, so just keep on throwing her. Oh, to the twig. Do that a little wide. All right, so I'm gonna tighten it up a little more off that. Oh, for those people that say I can't play straight, just give me a chill, man. I got a chill. Looks pretty good right there. So that looks really, I like it right in that zone. Man, hey, I like this. Hey, I got a couple guys that I know going to, uh, you know, nationals, and we talked about, hey, what, what are some of these newer balls to bring and put in a bag? And so far, so good, man. Just chill, man. I'm like, this is, it's not really jumpy. But again, I haven't really got around it yet. So once we start to cheat a little further left, uh, we'll see again how this ball starts to respond. I'm gonna throw one more. Then I'm gonna throw the troublemaker from this particular zone and see what we get. Put a little more hand in it. Yeah. So put a little more hand in it and of course it just read the spot a lot tougher. Um, I like it. I really do. I like that. Pick up troublemaker. 
All right, yeah, I'm standing about 15. And I feel like I'm actually walking pretty straight today, so my drift might not be as bad as it typically is. Oh, that went much further, much further down the line. So the DV8, I'll zoom in. It's pretty shiny. Um, I've thrown this ball a bit. So I'm actually gonna take a true cut pad and put it back to box, which is 2000. I know I have 500 under it, but 2000 to get the job done. So do that, making it nice and chalky like. putting the surface back so we get a truer out of box experience for the people who haven't tried a troublemaker yet and haven't tried to chill. Let's keep, I wanna give you guys a real response. So I'm gonna wipe that just off a little bit here. And then I'm actually gonna hit it with a little life after death to clean some of this dust off of it. So if you haven't tried one of their intro kits, uh, it has, again, the scuff remover, I haven't really used that yet. I don't really, I'm not that big on that, but this stuff right here, just like about the deaf stuff, man. Psh, one of the best ball cleaners on the market. But yeah, just gonna spray it. Again, just trying to get some of the dust off of the ball. Let it sit for the 30 seconds. It's tutorials. I have some links below uh, that you can go ahead and you know take a longer look at it. But let it sit on there for 30 seconds before you go touch it. So again, yeah, still has that surface on it. I just want to again get some of that dust off the ball. So yeah, now we're good to go. And let's throw that troll maker from the same spot again. So we just saw it. Yeah, now we got a lot of this, uh, back to surface. Let's we'll store from that same spot. Let's see what happens. Again, this is what it is out of box. It's 500, 2000. So let's see what we get. Much more ball. <laughs> so good little teaching moment here. If you are a tournament bowler or a league bowler and the ball is not performing the way you're used to it, especially right out of the box when you first purchased it, maintaining the surface is key. Like that's one of the most huge points to again, seeing that ball last a long time. You have to maintain that cover. And if you want again, want that ball to still hook and make the shape that you did when you initially bought it and fell in love with it, you have to clean it, you have to hit it with surface. Um, even polished balls, you need to go over it over time and then put more surface under it and apply a polish or a compound. So again, you saw that the first shot I threw with it, 60 feet, <laughs> clean the surface back up, hooked, and left me an eight pin. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, keep on throwing it. All right, so throw another one from here. Got a little more hand in that one. All right, so again, my natural state is not to stay this far right. Again, I have to stay again, more up the back of the ball, letting it just kind of roll, uh, not as much tilt. Um, but again, I definitely have the Troublemaker a little more responsive so far, uh, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna jump about five, about five right and see what we get. All righty, so again, jump. It's about close to the middle of the lane. Foot on 20, might get close to 25. Oh yeah, I got on that one pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, still went pretty far down the lane, but it made it up the hill. So not mad at that at all. Keep on going. All right. I'll probably gotta start bogging my speed down just a hair. just to make sure it shapes. Oh, sent some wood, sent some wood, wasn't enough. All right, so 
keep on going. Did out pretty good. So, so far, and I'll make give some more analysis as I throw the troublemaker because it just it feels very clean. You know, as a solid cover, it's not gonna a lot of people see solid. Oh, early, 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 early. I don't think that's really the case with this one. So I think this is actually going to be a very, you walk in the door, you know, if you're a newer bowler, you can pick this ball up as an alternative to, you know, balls like a, a hustle or um, you know, messenger solids. Like it's in that range, just exactly how it feels right now for me. Like raw solid, I feel like it might just be a little bump up from the raw solid. But still, and again, the same category. But one more, then I'm going to get to the troublemaker from this same zone. Little inside. Oh, a pin. Oh man. Uh, again, really like that shot. Look really good. Shaped correctly. Uh, again, just a little deflection there. But let's go ahead and get to the troublemaker and see what it does from that same spot. All right. Again, start on 20. Then I'm gonna cheat like a board left every shot. Got the wood out <laughs> so hey again just a little more ball uh, overall again we're gonna keep on throw a couple more shots here and we keep talking about it so again i'm gonna cheat a little bit off this shot to see what we get oh nine pin yeah just crashing through the pins a little bit more of course i'm getting a little more comfortable but yeah as of right now Again, the troublemaker is definitely again a ball a bit stronger than what this chill is. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, one more here. Let's see if we can't get the nine out. A little further left. Again, start leaving some of that back row. It's all about angles. Are you going through the pins the right way? Is the ball going through the pins the right way? So again, I saw the ball hooking. I left a nine, so I'm like, oh, it's hooking too much through the pins. So let me compensate. A couple ways you can do that. Throw the ball a little faster or just move a little left. I'm more comfortable with just moving left. That's what I did. Got the nine out. All right, so back to the chill here. I'm moving to 25. Again, because it's a fresh house shot, I'm not 100% certain what this one's gonna look like from here. Like, I'm. It might be not enough ball. I might start leaving some corner pins. But let's see, see what, what we get. Got around it pretty good. But threw it way out the window. So try again. <laughs> let's try again. And layout, as always, the same thing. 60 by four and a half by 30. That's my go-to layout for all these balls. Every ball that comes out. <laughs> so this first time watching, you can go back and watch all my videos, all the same layout, even on asymmetric, like they all, just the same thing. Again, the only thing that will look a little bit different is kind of the CG placement, uh, because on an asymmetric ball, the only thing that matters is the mass bias, the other third dot that's on it. So it's the only thing that you might see a little bit different, but this pin, this pin placement should be about the same on every ball. Let's not throw this one out the window, guys. And then we can see what this ball is actually supposed to do. It's inside. So if you were going to miss, if you were going to miss, miss inside once you get this far left. Because it sat there, but it drove. It still drove through the pins. Like, as you saw, and I'll, again, slow this one down so you can just see how it packed and kept going. Kept going. Once I get this far left, you know, it becomes, yeah, I'm still looking at 10. And as long as I'm around 10, I'm pretty good, especially on this house shot. Like now, if we're on something a little tougher, then the margin of, for error is a lot smaller. But on house shots, I just need to get close to 10 and I'm typically all right. All the room in the world to miss inside. 
So if that's your typical miss, hey man, might want to take a look at this one. Uh, DVA chill, seeming pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the trouble maker for a couple and see how it shapes. I think I, I might have to speed up a little bit. I don't think it's gonna give me as much forgiveness as the chill was when I missed the side. So see what happens. Yeah, and I'm about 25 right now at the dots. I'm probably closer to 30 up there at the line. Still kept it pretty slow. Yeah, really, still got pretty wide on that first shot. So, why I left that flat 10, I think if I kept it inside, it went through the pins just fine, but throw another one. Throw a good one here. That's a good one. Bang, bang. When I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> like, hey, the truck maker is going through the pins, man. With the chill. No. Inside. Oh. Man, you can just get on this troublemaker. Like, Whatever game or style you have, whether it's a little bit straighter or you like to get left, I've seen it work for a variety of people. I know some people got very afraid when they said, oh, this is a two-handed ball, and if you weren't two-handed, you didn't want it. This is a good ball. Uh, especially, again, if you are brand-specific and you're a DV8 person, pick up this troublemaker. You will not be disappointed. And this chill, definitely, like, this is like a great one, little one-two combination here. Once the troublemaker becomes a little too much on the lane, you go right to the chill because it's that much cleaner and more controllable. And that's what I look for in a bag. Like I wanna have options. I don't want a bunch of things that have the same surface or serve the same purpose in my bag. I wanna have, again, bigger asymmetric ball, maybe something with a little surface, depending on the house that you typically bowl in. So again, you want something in the middle of range and something a little weaker. So always good to have options. All right, so now I'm going back to the place, I'm back to the more the middle of the lane where I think the chill is will be most successful. And I'm about on 23 right now with my feet. Mm. Oh, Ooh, yeah. So again, a little miss to the right, a um, little miss to the left. I feel like this is the optimal zone if I was trying to score right now. That's exactly where it would be, um, just in that comfort zone because the ball is pretty clean. Um, and it's the, the couple shots that I may get a little forward off my hand or I throw it a little too fast, like I still have a chance and I'm gonna leave something makeable. And that's the key, leaving makeable uh, spares. Uh, of course you want to strike, but you want to leave makeable spares as well. So. A right, couple more shots here at the DVA Chill, and we're gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, and how these balls look next to each other is a, a very good question. But I'm gonna try to get around this one a little bit to make sure it uh, stands up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hey man, lighter volumes, uh, and you have some rev rate, this you could potentially start off with this ball and really get an understanding of what's going on if you're in those higher friction uh, centers or they just don't oil a ton. Having a chill in the bag wouldn't be a bad idea. Just saying. Just and no, I have not changed the surface on this chill. This is out of box and it is making this particular motion and I am a fan. Inside. Oh, balls that give me that miss inside. Look out, look out. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, man. If you like anything that you saw, like the jerseys, uh, we have a couple new designs getting ready to drop here in a moment. Uh, be on the lookout, man. Use the links below. I appreciate all the support as always. Um, and we're gonna keep mixing it up, man. We got some other different types of uh, comparisons coming. Uh, so, yeah, man. Until next time, man. We out.